First yard of the day, boys. I'm getting it. I'm starting to feel drained. <laughs> uh, should have stopped and got coffee, but the calling for more of that wet stuff here is real shortly. So I want to get this one done. Get as many more done as I can. I'm out here by myself right now. Savannah's working. But yeah, I'm not going to film on it. Just figured I'd show you what I'm doing. It's another great day in the neighborhood, you know? This is not a paid advertisement for muscle milk. But hey, muscle milk, if you want to, I'm willing to accept. All right, we just finished this one up here. Took a little longer than we anticipated. There's a lot of overgrown weeds and stuff. A lot more trimming, but once we get the hang of it, it shouldn't take too long every week, but yeah. Even got some stripes in the front yard. A little pond. We have to go, we have to stop at the end of the driveway and do a little cleanup. And then we'll be on our way. It's nice back here. All right, guys, we're at the gas station here getting filled up. Um, actually, got to get a quart of oil also. And Santa's getting some coffee. It's real early in the morning. We got T. Raleigh's guys over here. They got Hustler, they got uh, Walkers, and I was talking with them, two really nice guys, and uh, just discussing, you know, the rain and how the grass has been growing and everything, and they said, absolutely, the Hustlers are garbage. I don't know, I've never ran one. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I'm just going off of what they said, but they said the Hustlers suck with the wet stuff and they said they will not stick to a hill at all so I don't know I like asking guys you know whenever I get the opportunity to talk to them about a piece of equipment that I haven't personally ran personally I've never ran a hustler or a walker other than you know just demoing them at like the guy expo or whatever but you know asking guys that use them every single day they're getting ready to actually do this McDonald's here and he's like, dude, he's like, if we got to choose between the walker or the hustler, he's like, we take the walker. He's like, even with the bagger on it and it being soaking wet and clumping up, he's like, the hustlers do not do good at all with it. So, I don't know. I personally never ran one, but I figured I'd share that little bit of info, info with you guys. Want me to tell you something to pees me off? Pees me off more than anything, okay? So I had to run over here to the dollar store real quick because somehow or another I lost my scraper out of the box back there. So I was going to run to the Dollar General and pick up a scraper. So this big old parking lot, let me show you guys, big old parking lot, bunch of empty spaces and they have parking out front. I'm on the side of the building. These are employees cars over here, I guarantee it. So I go in, they don't have a scraper, I go ahead, I pick up a case of water. Savannah's in there getting a hat because she forgot her hat this morning. But uh. I come back out, and out of all these empty parking spots, even behind me, up here, whatever. Really? I mean, really. All those empty parking spots, and you got a pool right in front of the guy with the truck and the trailer. Now, let me show you. I just walked out, guys. There's empty parking spots up front. There's the car. See right down the other side of that Jeep thing? That's an empty parking spot. It's not a wheelchair accessible or handicapped spot. It's open. But instead, they park right freaking in front of me. This happens all over. Gas stations, Walmart, you name it, it happens. Look at all them empty parking spots. But she had to pull right dead in front of my pickup truck. Now, was it a big deal to back up? No, it wasn't. But come on, have a little courtesy. I mean, at least pull up to the next one so I can just pull straight out. Ain't that right, Savannah? Whatever you say, man. Did you get you a hat? I did. Smoke was dripping in my eyes. I left my hat at home. Savannah left her hat at home. She's got to have 
have a hat. She don't like getting grass in her hair. She's a prima donna. Oh, shit. Out on my channel, like this is not a PG channel. Come you on. see my pants? We ain't talking about your pants. We're talking about your hair and your hat. And then you just throw this is some <laughs> on my channel. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Uh -oh. We're Let's going see, down to the next, to the next one. one. Oh, cops! I'm on, gonna get you, there. Savannah, for throwing out cuss words. Stay high with patrol. No one wants to see that, Sean. Look at this thing. Holy mackerel, what the heck is that? It's taking up both lanes. Somebody did some welding, son. No one wants to see your oversized load, babe. Everybody wants to see my oversized load, Savannah, since you <laughs> want to take this channel all dirty. <laughs> she said it, I didn't. Excuse me. There ain't no brakes on this job, woman. <laughs> Alright guys, Savannah is doing this ditch here. She got half of it done. She's just got the little or half on this side here. But I don't even know guys. I hate to keep going on about this, but one week growth, guys. One week. I cut this at a three last week. I'm currently cutting at three and a half. Look at the chop job. Nothing I can do. All of the Mother Nature's elements are hitting its points right now to make grass grow like crazy. I mean, look at that ditch. There's a solid one foot to 15 inches, I mean, on this whole entire thing. Killing us on time, guys, killing us. I mean, we're mowing literally seven days a week right now. There's just nothing we can do. I don't know, the only other thing we can do is buy another mower, but gotta get the plow going, the truck going this year first. I don't know, I'm hoping it, uh, hoping it starts to dry up just a little bit. Because, I mean, look at this guy over here. He's cutting his. That's one week growth. He normally cuts about every time we're here. His is chopped all up, too. But, I don't know. It's frustrating. I'll say it like that. Watch Savannah work for a second. Then I gotta get back to it. I've been letting her mow on certain accounts guys like this one she could probably mow on it but there's a lot of obstacles and there's a lot of just things in the ground that she doesn't know where they're at like see that stump there's a stump right to the right of that tree there in the ground there's another one right uh, on the camera it's like right out in there there's another one right over here there's another one back over there i mean there's just a lot of little things that she could run into like yesterday, I was going a city lot. First time customer. Just going along the road. Didn't didn't even see the water pipe, man. I mean, I ran straight into this water pipe. You know, the shutoff valves they put in the city. I mean, right into this thing. And like, I was only going like two mile an hour. But I mean, just stuff like that, man. You can destroy a mower real quick. So once she learns the yards, I won't, won't mind letting her mow more. All right, guys, see that woman standing back there by that building with the dog? Her and the guy on the mower are into it pretty hot and heavy because he mowed. See that little stake right there in the yard? He mowed, he mowed onto her property line. She was just out here screaming a second ago. Give me a second, I'm putting my gate up. But yeah. She was literally mother effing him like five minutes ago. But pretty darn funny. She's going over to his house now to uh, talk to his wife. He, she was cussing him out and he just kept mowing like he didn't even hear. I mean, literally just drove right past her, kept going. It was pretty hilarious. 
I don't know, drama. Oh, guys, 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 guys. You smell that? It smells like redemption. <laughs> you guys have to think it's funny. We just finished this one up here. Santa's blowing off. And uh, got a phone call from a previous customer that no longer wanted our services. This has happened probably two weeks ago. Uh, they were gonna go a different route. They gave me a couple different stories actually, but they just went with another lawn care company. No big deal. Just got a phone call from them asking if I would be interested in coming back and mowing for them. That they were gonna take care of it themselves, but it's just too much. Yada, yada, yada. I mean, this, this is like the third or fourth different story I've been told. One story was they bought a lawn mower next story was their nephew was gonna mow it and then it, it's just stuff every single week so I'm currently guys I'm about booked out like no joke like me and Savannah we can't do much more if anything uh, so I told her in a very nice polite way that I had to respectfully decline because, and I'll say because, I feel like it's just going to be a temporary thing anyways. It's spring right now. This crap is growing like crazy. They just want me to mow it until it gets through the crap part of the year. And then either they're going to mow it, they really do have a mower, or, you know, their nephew's going to start mowing it or whatever. They just want me to get them through the crappy springtime, basically. And it's not happening. I'm not doing it. Uh... It just is what it is. So, how'd that ditch go, babe? That ditch was a beep. For yeah. real. Savannah's so working hard today. Building some muscles. Building some <laughs> muscles. She's ready to knock somebody out. But we're going to get on to our next one. I figured I'd just share that quick little story. Yeah. Customers, they always think it's greener on the other side, but... Sometimes it's just not. <laughs>